Now we're on to our last step into making these look 3D, and that's called cast shadows. The reason it's called the cast shadow is it's literally a shadow that is cast by the object. So that's why our light source is again once really important. This light is coming, let's start with the circle. The light's coming from up here, so what you do is you kind of mentally just draw a line to see how far your shadow is going to be going. So an angle right straight through and should go to about here. The reason being is if it were, let's say it were up here, your shadow would be shorter. If you ever noticed during the midday or towards noon, your shadows are much shorter. The end of the day or the beginning of the day, they're much longer. So ours is here. So start from underneath your object. You're going to bring it out to about that far, real lightly with your pencil. Going almost straight out because our shadows coming, our lights coming from there. Now, the one thing you want to do is make it again a squishy circle or a squishy shape, I should say. What you don't want to do is, let's say this is your circle, you don't want to take your cast shadow and make it come up like this. Okay, so it's squishy. <laughs> and the very darkest part of your picture, we're going to go ahead and fill this in now, the very darkest part of your picture should be where your object meets the ground, okay? So right in here, it's going to be super dark. But always the darkest part, that's where it's getting the least amount of light. And I always bring my shadow right underneath, so it really looks like it's sitting on the ground. As you come out towards the end of the point, once again, take your, sh your pencil, a little bit less and less pressure as you go out. Add a little bit more blended there. Until you go to almost nothing. You really want your cast shadow to really fade out, especially in early morning or late afternoon light. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. And there we go. Let's go into the cube. Okay, I think you guys are getting the picture now. No pun intended. Let's go ahead and do the cube. If you want to go ahead and try to see, do it on your own as I'm doing this, feel free. Again, make it really look like it's sitting on the ground by putting a dark line underneath. I'm going to bring that straight out because, again, the light coming like this, it's probably going to go to about, right about there. All right, I'm going to, this one's simple because you just go up to that corner and bring it out to about the same spot. And once again, darkest part of your picture, right where the object meets the ground. And really put it in real dark. And once again, as you come out, less pressure. So you get that mid-tone all the way out to light. Go ahead and blend that. And we'll meet you on the corner in a minute. And there you have your cue. Okay, we have Mr. Cohn here. Let's go ahead and give him a cast shadow. Again, once again, light coming from here. Doing my mental line down here. Putting a little dot. Now the cone, I usually start right over, right under the middle of it. And this is a little bit more difficult because my thing's in the way, but let's give it a try. Come straight out. And come from a little bit behind here and come down and around. So you have the basic shape of the cone there, but you want it to go behind the cone. You don't want it to end here because our light source is like that. And you want it to go right out about to the middle underneath. And once again, you, you've guessed it, real dark right underneath and close to the ground. And once again, as you come out, you're going to lighten the pressure. You go ahead and do yours, and I'll 
finish mine. Okay, there. The last but not least, once again, the cylinder. Light angle, right about to there. I'm gonna go right underneath once again with my dark. Look around it, bring it out like that. Once again, just like with the cone, I'm gonna bring the shadow just a tiny bit above the edge. Bring it out and darken in and blend. shadow gets too dark towards the end, go ahead and take your eraser that happens to you on any of these shapes or anything even with your shading. Take your eraser and just lightly lift up a little. So the great thing about working in pencil. Alright. There we have a cylinder. Thanks for joining us for our demonstration on the basic shapes and shading and cast shadows. Join us next week and we'll put all these four shapes to good use and make a great drawing. Hope you have a great week. Until then, from the art studio at Willow Beach in South Portland, see you then.